Hey everyone, I hope you're having a good day. I am so happy because it is gloomy outside. I see the leaves starting to change colors and it's just getting me all sorts of excited for the fall time. So I'm sure as you could tell by the title of this video, it's a fall haul. This is my moment to thrive. I absolutely love fall fashion. It is what makes me extremely happy. I just think I get really creative and it inspires me a lot to actually go out and do things because I want to look cute. So I have just been loving being able to splurge a little bit since it's been a good like year I'd say that I have not really done that much shopping for myself and I do own a lot of fall favorites that I incorporate into my everyday fashion but I wanted to get some new pieces so I'm going to show you some things that I got this is clothing accessories jewelry all of the fun stuff and this is my style now if you want to check out anything I will have whatever is available linked down below and you can let me know what you think and if you think I should return anything because there's a few pieces I'm not too sure how I feel about them like once I got them in person does ever happen to you you see something online and you're like that is beautiful and it comes in person you're like eh. the first thing I'm gonna talk about is jewelry <laughs> I got a few pieces from Missouri, and Missouri is kindly sponsoring today's video, so thank you so much. I was just like baffled when they reached out to work with me because I've been wearing their little hoops. I kid you not, guys, like four years now without taking them out. Like, okay, once in a while I'll take them out to clean my ears or whatever, but like I wear them to sleep, I wear them in the shower, I wear them all the time, and they have not tarnished, they've held up. So I am just like a huge Missouri fan and I just love how everything is just so dainty and delicate. It's totally my vibe. And so I was very, very, very excited when they wanted to work with me because I was just like internally screaming. It's like big fangirl moment, but I was able to pick out a few pieces and I'm so excited. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about are these super cute earrings. So these ones right here are the large croissant dome hoops. I love them because they're not heavy. I actually am so picky when it comes to bigger hoops. I despise when things are heavy on me and when they weigh my ears down, it's just not for me. So I love that these are extremely lightweight. And then the ones right here behind it, if you could see, I'm trying to get like a good shot of this. I feel like my fingers are in the way and I'm just not doing this properly. Those little hoops right there are the ones that I've never taken out. These are actually extremely old. So I did ask for another pair, which I have them right here somewhere, but they are just their bold hoops. So um, I like them because here, let me take them out. Yeah, like literally they look completely fine. Like there's no tarnishing or anything. Do you see? And I like that they just kind of snap into place. Very, very lightweight. I don't feel them when I'm sleeping. I just love them. So I actually usually have these hoops in the first ones and then I'll usually have like a stud or something like that in the second. I do have a third piercing on both ears, but I don't know, I took them out recently. I don't know why, I think I was switching up earrings and I forgot to put some back in. I don't know if the holes have closed, but I think it would be really pretty to have like a few hoops here. I think it'd be nice. I actually took out a lot of my piercings. I used to have so many piercings. Yeah, then I got the dome hoops. So these ones, thicker hoops, gold as well, but they do have a little clasp in the back. But I promise you guys, this doesn't irritate my ears. They're not heavy, like I said. A lot of times clasps used to really irritate the back, but I don't know how they did this, but these ones do not irritate my ears at all. So I actually really enjoy them. I think this would actually be really cute as the first little hoop and then having the normal ones that I showed you right behind it. And I love them. It comes in this really cute little box. See how pretty that is? Then I got the small chunky hoops. So these ones actually don't have a clasp. They just kind of snap. As you can see here, see how they like have that little snap and they are a bit bigger. They're so light. Like I don't even feel them in my hand. So I think this would be a perfect everyday hoop. Let me show you what this looks like on. Oh, it's so lightweight. So you got the croissant one and then this little hoop. 
And then as you can see, I got the exact same ones as the ones that I'm wearing. I then got the wishbone ring, which I really wanted to pair with my wedding band and engagement ring. Um, here, I'll kind of slide it up so you could see it. So it looks like this. See, I'll put it on this. I'll put it on this ring or this finger so you could see it better. But it's really nice. It kind of curves up. And I thought that that would look so pretty with my engagement ring. And then I got the croissant dome ring in the same size to put on this hand. And look how pretty that ring is. Oh, it's so nice. I just think this one makes my ring look really pretty. And then the last thing I got was a necklace. So I wanted just a classic chain and I got the boyfriend chain too. I think it's, hold on. Oh, it's called the boyfriend bold necklace too. So it looks like this. It's really dainty, so it's kind of hard to see, but I actually paired it with this necklace that I never take off. It says Arkham and it was a gift from family so i don't know where that's from but i never take it off and i just thought that this would look so pretty and dainty with it and you can actually make it tighter if you wanted to you could have it more as a choker but i liked it loose kind of hanging around arkham right here and i think it's pretty so if you are interested to check out Missouri, which i highly recommend all of my friends wear it we're obsessed um, i'll have a link in the description which will take you to all of my picks and you can shop for yourself. They also were so kind and gave you guys a discount, which I'll put right here, and you can use that to get a nice little discount on your order. So now that I've talked about jewelry, I think I'm just gonna get into clothing because it's just my favorite part, and then I'll show you the new boots and purse that I got. Very happy about it, but I do want your honest opinions. So I did some shopping at Aritzia. I love Aritzia. It's just so expensive. Like, keep in mind, I've made these purchases over the past few months. Please don't judge me. Actually, you know what? I don't really care. You can judge me if you want. <laughs> I spent money at Aritzia and I'm not ashamed to admit it. So the first thing are these pants, which I love. Obviously, you will see everything on me so you get a better sense. Just really nice pants. I actually own these in so many different colors. I'll post... A photo of like everyone's favorite right here and i'm so sad i didn't keep those i actually sold them um like two years ago just because they didn't fit me anymore but i really wish i kept them because i love them so much and i cannot find them even on depop i couldn't find them so whatever i got the exact same pair of pants in my size in this plaid color very neutral has some like turquoise in it some gold and brown and i just think it's really pretty super comfortable pants they are kind of like um, cropped so I think they're nice with booties that are skinny on the ankles so I just think that's a really flattering look and this kind of just elevates any outfit so if you have it with a simple knit with these pants and boots even Doc Martens I find the pants not only scream fall but just really elevate a look so I like that um, this is random, but I got a pair of sweatpants because I didn't own a pair in this color. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but it's more of like an oatmeal. Here, let me turn down the brightness. Okay, that's too dark. Whoa. It's like an oatmeal color. I, as you can tell by my bedroom, like nudes. <laughs> but I thought this would actually be really nice with a brown shirt that I got. I'll show you guys later. It's just like a long sleeve, really thin, comfortable brown shirt. That paired with these sweatpants and some sneakers like Converse or even just like some basic Doc Martens, I think is just such a little vibe with a ton of necklaces and jewelry. You can take like the most casual outfit and make it nice with tons of jewelry and like how you style it i obviously wouldn't wear sweatpants to work but i'm saying more of like let's say a shopping day or going for like a fun little cozy brunch i think that's an outfit that i definitely would wear and you're comfortable now the shirt i was talking about this is not from aritzia but it's this one as you can see it's just like a rib knit really soft comfortable brown long sleeve shirt Pretty lightweight, so with the sweatpants and some docks, really cute. You can even throw over a flannel or you could throw over um, a denim jacket, leather jacket, bomber, like anything would just be super nice. So that is why I actually, I actually got this from Revolve. I got it in a size large and it still is like not tight that it feels uncomfortable, but it's tight on my skin. So it's cute though. I didn't want it like super cropped because my boobs are big and I just did not want them hanging out under, even with a bra. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
like right now, I feel like they're coming out of my bra. Also, if you are wondering why I'm being quiet, it's because I'm literally filming next door when I just put Arky down for a nap. So I'm like trying to talk a little bit low, but I'm still really excited. So I'm like trying to hold it together. But anyways, yeah, this is a jacket. I love this. This is so nice. Like I would even wear this with the outfit I just showed you with Doc Martens vibe hat, like a little toque. Or how do you say it? A beanie. Sorry, toque is like where I'm from. <laughs> I love these colors. It's from Aritzia. It was expensive. It's beautiful. I do not regret this purchase. I am going to be wearing this literally all season. Um, it's definitely not like warm enough to wear when it gets really cold, but for the fall time in Montreal, it's perfect. It's long, so you can wear it with tights and high boots if you wanted to with a chunky knit underneath. It's just perfect to me. This is just like perfection in a jacket. Every color, every detail, the big pockets, the buttons, the collar, I just love it. I wore it when we were away a few weeks ago and it was, I was sweating. It was not cold enough to wear it, but I just loved it so much. And then the last thing I got from Aritzia was actually, when was this? I was in New York when I bought this. It's when I traveled and forgot all my clothes. So I bought this for a date night with Dan. It's just an oatmeal long sleeve knitted dress. Super comfortable, thick. So I would still wear this in the fall. I like that it's long. I would even wear it under that jacket that I showed you with some nice boots. Oh my goodness, like kind of pointy black boots I think would be so pretty and some necklaces. I'm already getting so inspired for things and it'll be nice and warm. I was really comfortable in this dress. I actually wore it with Spanx and it was my first time wearing like this pair of Spanx that I got and it was actually very comfortable. Oh wait, there was one more thing I got from Maritzia. This was also from New York. This bodysuit, which is extremely comfortable. I love the square neckline. I got it in a size medium and it's really comfortable. The only thing I don't love is how the back is so high. I typically like when the back is a little bit lower, but whatever. But I think layering this under so many different pieces is great. The only frustrating thing is I literally watched a TikTok this morning of a girl showing how Abercrombie has like basically these exact bodysuits for like a fraction of the price. So I was kind of bummed because I was like, Dang it, that was so expensive, but like I really liked it. But to be honest, like Aritzia is does have the quality there, so spending the money, I just know it's gonna last a long time. And like a black bodysuit is not gonna go out of style. Like it's just gonna, it's like a tank top. Like it literally goes under anything. Okay, then I got a few things from Princess Polly a month ago. I would say I got a lot of questions about this hoodie when I wore it in a vlog. It's waffle knit, it's really big. I think I got it in a size 12 US. I don't know what that is, probably like an extra large. I just wanted it super big and baggy. I love how big the hood is, whoops. I mean, this is just like so, so cozy. On top of like a white tee and jeans, simple but a cute outfit with some nice sneakers, boots, um, even with leggings, like if you were to go for a nice walk with friends and you wore like a legging and crop top set and then had that on top, I think that would be really cute. Um, I then got this brown nude top, but to be completely honest, I don't love the way this looks on my body. I just feel like I'm not at that phase where like crop tops are super flattering on me just because of the size of my chest. It's not bad. I just feel like my boobs are gonna kind of fall out underneath if I like lift my arms and I don't like that feeling. Like it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look great. And I used to always like not like this neckline, but to be honest, I'm trying to get over that because that's an insecurity of mine that I'm just trying to like get over. But yeah, I actually really like, if I look at this shirt, I just love it. I think it's so beautiful. I think it's very, very like flattering on so many different body types, but it's in my own head. I'm pretty sure that I just like don't love it, but I'm trying to get over it. Um, I did get it in a size 10 US. This, this is, ugh, guys. I had to get a flannel. Like I own a lot of thrifted flannels and some flannels that I had from my grandfather. And then I have a few from Urban Outfitters throughout the years that I love. They're just classics, but it's been a while since I actually bought a flannel and I saw these colors and I just fell in love. I thought it was so beautiful. It's actually thicker than all of the flannels that I own. So it's gonna be really nice when the weather is definitely chilly. I got it in the biggest size. So size 12, I think that was the biggest one on the website. It is a little itchy, which I don't love, but I also have really sensitive skin so like a lot of materials are itchy on me but I mean if I'm gonna be layering it over like a long sleeve brown tee for example like the one I showed you or long sleeve white tee or just like a t-shirt in general leggings jeans whatever it might be it's cute like everything I'm showing you is brown basically 
<laughs> like my pile is brown and white. Okay, this is more on like the early winter, late fall, but I saw this on the Naked website and I loved it. So big Sherpa jacket with really big front pockets. I loved that. I think this is going to be so comfortable. I probably wear something brown underneath or black or maybe even like a yellow color I think would be really nice with some denim and some boots and a beanie. Oh, it's so comfortable. And I got this in a size 44. I don't know what that means, but it, I was just literally, I have never shopped on Naked that I remember. I think maybe like one time in like 2014, but there's so many influencers that I follow on Instagram that are doing collaborations with this company. And I was like, what is this company? Is it even pronounced Naked? Like I'm just ca calling it Naked. I don't know. N-A-K-D. I've never even heard of it. I'm pretty sure it's European. And I did have to pay customs, which was so annoying, but their stuff was really cute. So I did kind of splurge on this website because there was a lot of things I liked. I think I'm going to be returning a few things, but so far I'm happy-ish with the quality. I mean, to be fair, Aritzia is just like really good quality and that's actually a Canadian company. So they have really cute things. So I've been seeing like so many bloggers, they don't even call bloggers anymore, influencers on TikTok and on Instagram wearing these like super oversized trench coats with like Honestly, sometimes I see them wearing sweatsuits underneath. I see them wearing leggings and a workout top and it's cute. Like literally, I would never think to wear that, but I saw it and I was like, that is such a cute outfit. So I just had to get myself a trench coat because it's just a classic. And I, I had to get in this color because this color is, like I said, a classic. It is getting so bright in here. I can style it so many ways. So I'm excited to experiment with that. It's funny because I'm talking about fall, but like it's supposed to be up to like 37 degrees celsius this week so i'm like what is happening right now i picked up this shirt i don't love it to be honest i'm pretty sure i'm going to be returning this i liked the neat the detailing on the neck and the sleeves i just don't know if i really see myself wearing this that often and i don't want to be spending money on things that i'm not going to be wearing that often but at the same time i could see myself wearing this with different options so i'll see i love the brown shirt that i have like way more than this one this one's a little bagging like weird but I'll see how I feel. This one, um, I also think I'm gonna be returning. To be fair, I don't know why I got this. Like, it's cute. It's definitely cute. I just, I don't know how I feel about it. It's really oversized. It's like really baggy. I also got it in a size 44 because I was saying like, I don't know what sizes are. I was just clicking things. It fits, it looks good. I don't really love the satiny look. It's not really my vibe. This one I loved, but I don't like the way it looks on me, if that makes sense. Okay, it's a knit dress. I saw this on the website and I was like, that would be so pretty with these boots that I just got. I loved the look. But then on me, it's like so boxy and I'm already like really broad. So I just felt like it didn't really give me any shape. And then like my boobs and my butt were making it just look like, I looked like a box of bread, but it was really cute for a photo. I just don't love it. I actually might give this to my mom because I feel like she would love this like so much. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to give this to my mom, but it's cute. Like if you just look at it, it's just like a cute, like simple nude knit. It just doesn't look the best on me. This I love though, but <laughs> Dan's like, don't you own that already? Oh my God, I just got makeup on it. So I guess I'm going to have to keep it. Ooh, it's an oversized cardigan. I actually don't own anything in this color. I own two cardigans from Urban Outfitters, the orange one and the like beige one that I've been wearing for years, literally since 2017. I'm obsessed with them. I'm never going to get rid of them, but those are the only two cardigans that I own. And this one is a bit more of like the brown taupey color and it's not as chunky. Like it still is a long chunky cardigan, but I don't know. It's a little bit more flattering on. So definitely want to keep that. This is so cute. This like cable knit sweater that has this collar already attached. I think it's so pretty. You can argue with me, Dan hates it. He thinks it's ugly, but I think it's so pretty and it's so soft and comfortable. I feel really preppy when I'm wearing it. I don't know, I just love it. Oh, this is like a love hate thing. Okay, so I wore this when I was away really comfortable. The only thing is it's like so white that it was just washing me out. I felt like, I don't know. I feel like something that's this white is just not for me right now. The other one was more on the cream side. This is like a very, very white, white. It's like washing me out. Like it's so overexposed, but I liked the concept of it. 
I liked the neckline. I liked this thing that kind of hung over. It's a little cropped, so with high-waisted jeans would be really nice. I wore them with like these off black paper bag jeans from Zara and I really liked them and it was a cute outfit. But yeah, like my boobs right now and just, mm, you know, maybe, maybe if my boobs are smaller. And then the last shirt that I got from Naked Fashion, Naked, N-A-K-D, is this linen shirt. Now this one is definitely more of my vibe. It's big, but it's linen. So I love linen. I think it's so comfortable. I love the nude color. I think this can be worn so many different ways. It's oversized, so you could definitely still get away with wearing it with like high boots and maybe just some shorts, legging shorts, biker shorts. But you can also kind of tuck one side in if you wanted to into a pair of jeans and have it hanging out. I love this, all of this with a bunch of necklaces would be so nice. Hair up in a clip or hair down with a beanie. What inspired me to get that one was these pants, which I actually hate. <laughs> so I will be returning these, but I, I wanted like oversized shirt like that wearing pants like this. They're like a dress pant, which in theory is really nice, but my body right now is just not made for these types of pants. They are not comfortable. They're so wide, like so wide. And I just look like a clown wearing them. So like they're really pretty pants. They're nice. And I see girls wearing them on Instagram all the time, but just on me, I was like, I cannot pull this off. It's not cute. So that was the inspiration as to why I bought the shirt. I love the shirt, hate the pants, also hate these pants. So I'm not even gonna like really talk about them. It's just like, no, you know what? Mm. These are literally being returned. I don't like that. Woo, just moved my camera. The last two items I got were a splurge. I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping them or not. I actually haven't even worn them yet. I tried on the shoes, but that was about it by far, which is such a nice designer i'm obsessed with all of the purses and shoes from by far but you know i was like oh my god this is the most beautiful purse i've ever seen but it's so impractical how the heck do you even wear this just like this do you just hold it i just feel like you know like those little bottega what is it bottega vene whatever that that designer is those really trendy purses that are literally like this shape i think they're so pretty but i'm like how do people hold them this is actually really big you can fit a lot in it i didn't take out any of like the stuffing yet and i love this color and the suede i just like everything about it is so pretty but like honestly just kind of like seeing it on camera i just don't know I just don't know, like it's cute, you can make it work, but is it worth the money? Probably not. I mean, is anything really worth the money? I feel like if I could at least hold it like on my shoulder, it would make more sense. Like I'm a mom now, I feel like I need things to be more practical than cute and trendy. But at the same time, you know, I'm like, what if I went for a cute dinner? You know, this is a little cute little clutch purse thing. I don't know. I have this like feeling deep down that I'm gonna end up returning this, but I don't know. It's just like so pretty. I just like love it so much. Every time I look at it, I'm like, you're so pretty. I feel like most of you are gonna tell me to return it. I would probably tell my friend to return it. <laughs> and then I got a pair of boots from By Far and these ones, oh my goodness. They are so pretty, so pretty. <gasps> just like a classic, classic boot. Oh, oh my God, are you stunning or what? I just think boots right now that go under the knee are just so trendy. The point the little heel like that. It really reminds me of boots I wore when I was like 19. I'd go clubbing with my friends and they were my mom's boots. But the only thing is I wore them in the house to try them on and now there's like little scuff things. So like, I don't even think I could return these if I wanted to, but I don't think I would want to return them because they're so dang pretty. Like these are just sexy boots. Oh my goodness. I saw a lot of girls wearing them in leather on Instagram for New York Fashion Week, but I wanted the black suede because I don't own any black suede boots. This was my, you are going to shop for yourself and it's been a while and you can reward yourself boots. Oh my God, that reminds me of the episode in Friends with Monica. And then they're so uncomfortable. <gasps> what if these are really uncomfortable to walk in? What do you do though? Because if you're trying on boots to see if like your feet don't kill in them, but then you can't return them afterwards because you've walked in them and Monica got blood on hers. So like, I don't know. I like literally wore them in the house for three seconds and there's already like little marks. So I guess I'll just have to deal with it. And then maybe one day sell it on Depop. Oh my God, they're so pretty. I'm gonna put them away. 
So that is it for this fall haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There was a lot of stuff. As you could see, I made some weird purchases and everything is nude or white. <laughs> Just like my friggin' bedroom and everything about my house. But guys, I didn't buy one gray sweater, although I am wearing one right now, but I did not buy one gray sweater. Are you proud of me? A gray sweater is usually the key to my heart. But for now, we will just keep it at nudes and neutrals. And I am planning on styling these for Instagram and stuff. So if you want to follow me there, you can. And I hope you're having a good day. And thank you again for Majuri for sponsoring today's video. Like I said, I will have links for the exact pieces that I love down below in the description. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.